Hello everyone. My name is Atindir Nath and today we are going to learn JavaScript arrays. So these are the following topic. We are going to learn an array. When to choose an array. Creating an array. Accessing array element. Changing array elements. Traversing and retrieving element in an array. Array properties and method. So let's begin with the first topic. When to choose an array. Assume you have a list of item. Storing the values in a single variable could require a lot of coding. So, we have an array. An array is a special variable which can hold many values under a single name. So, let's see how we can create an array. We can create an array by declaring using square bracket. The other way to use is using array literal. So, when you write const, we can declare an array. Within the braces, you can define your elements. The third way to use is using keyword new. You can see in the statement, const array name equals to new is the keyword. Then we have provided constructor or the method array. Within the braces, we have defined our elements. Okay, so this is the three way to create an array. Let's see how we can access array element. You can access an array element by referring to the index number. So in this example, we have taken vehicle. So we, we have defined vehicle. Within vehicle, we have car, bicycle, bus. So if you want to retrieve an uh, array element, we have to add the reference of the index number. So we know this, um, the array index starts with 0. So 0 is the first element, 1 is the second element. So likewise, so if you want to get the value bus, so which is at the position 3rd. So for here you have to provide 2nd. It means 0, 1, 2, 2nd is the position. So bus will have the value bus. Next topic is changing array element. We can change an array element using assignment operator. So in this example, we have uh, taken vehicle which have car, bicycle, bus and we want to change the bicycle um, bicycles um, with Scotty. So if you uh, change, uh, if you put the index value, this bicycle will change to Scotty. The array will have car, bicycle, bus. So next topic we are going to learn is traversing in an array. We can traverse array in many ways. Looping array element using for loop, using while loop, using for each method, using every method, using map. Let's see these with an example. I am using an online plan, JavaScript compiler. So let's define our Car, by and bus. Now I want to do for loop. For loop fake. So using for loop, you have to define first n variable. Say i define initialize the i, add the condition how many time you want to iterate. So we know we have three element means this array size is three. So if you doesn't know, you can use a method called length. This will give you the size of your element. Then at the end you add incremental operator i++. Now under that you can write your code. So we are going to show each vehicle's number.
So here you need to tell the index how we access the vehicle same way but we have the incremental variable which is i with the i we can visit each element so let's start this run this code yeah so i can see i can i visited each element first is car second is bike that is bus so let's see the next way while loop so while loop requires a predefined pre-initialized value so here i'm going to use i is equal to zero within the while loop you need to add a condition so same what we have defined here we can use vehicle dot length it is should be the i should iterate less than the vehicle size within the while loop you can add the same condition to traverse the value so vehicle of that but in at the end you must increment if you don't if it will not iterate it will just stop it to a to this in first uh, iteration so let's run this so while loop has visited each element car bike and bus so next way is to for each way so for each uh, syntax is quite different you need to spell write the array used using the dot operator we can write for each so for each have three element parameters first is the value second is the index third is the array so we are going to use a procedural function for that you might you have to use equals to angular braces and within the you have to start your brackets within the braces you can add a right here code so i can use the same code here and remember you write time with, so in this for each is you can also now i don't have the i here so instead of i i can use index and uh, either you can use index here this also works or the value so value will have will have each element when whenever it traverses okay so if i run this example so while okay this should be for each for each loop will travel each car bike and bus the other way is to do every every method so just like the for each we can use every every also have the same parameter but it requires a true or false it, it requires a return statement so you must always return a true or false conditions so before return you can write your code so this will also give me the same result every you can see the last way is to use the map map is works same like the for for each loop so but map we generally use with multi dimensional array so let's see how we can use map here so map uh, writing instead of every here we can change to map map is the method 
within the map you will get the three array element uh, parameters value index array same you can use for traversing the value value we will have all variable so map doesn't return anything so you can uh, use for key value paid as well so if you run this example you will see the same result next topic we are going to see is array properties and methods so we have a lot of inbuilt functions within javascript so i have taken out most most useful methods so let's see some common functions which can be used with array so if you want to um, push some value means if you want to add some value within the array so we have a vehicle vehicle if you want to push some value say it truck okay so after truck if i want to push and i want to see what has been changed we will see truck has been added at the end of your list so car bike bus was there it has just appended one more value means that is push push will add at the end of your array element the next uh, method is to pop if you pop an element it will date a value for at the end of your array so i am i'm going to pop i want to see what pop has done so what truck a uh, truck just just now we have pushed so truck has been deleted because that was at the end of your array the another method is unshift if you want to add a value which is uh, you want to add at the beginning of your element then you can add uh, use with unshift so here i'm going to say have to make sure i want to add at the beginning so so if you run this you will see auto rex has been added at the beginning of your array so another method is called shift shift will shift one element from the beginning of your array so just like the pop which does uh, at the end shift will do at the beginning so auto rickshaw should be deleted so here is the result with the use of splice method we can add and remove at the same time from an array splice will have three parameter first is the beginning from where you want to add second parameter is how many element you want to delete and third is what element you want to add here i want to add scooty okay so if if we if you see what is been changed you will see scooty has been added at the beginning why because zero is the beginning of zero is the first beginning of the array element and the second parameter says how many element to be deleted which is zero means none so scooty will be added at the beginning and no nothing will be removed what if if i want to delete some element if i run this same you will see two element has been deleted which were those 
this car and bike has been deleted with Vimeo and it OT was added. So another example we can see is if I want to add at the middle of your um, of your view of array. So so I, I have added at the second position. So 0, 1, 2. So after second I have added and also one is been deleted means the bus will will be get deleted so this is the power of splice another method called slice slice will just delete one of your array but this will not change your array structure so if you want to splice how many number you want to splice So if I want to splice two element from here, so I have how many? I have three element. I want to splice two element. First beginning car bike will get splice. So I am I'm going to show that what what happened after splicing the uh, array does it change or not? You can see it has not changed, but splice has has worked. So in order to understand what splice is doing we can put that in console means it will return a another array which have the spliced element element so you can see car bike has been spliced and scooty was the remaining element in the array this is the function of splice another another method called concat concat also works like push but uh, it will not change the structure of an array so vehicle dot concat if you add a plus p it will just append at the end of your array but it will not change the array element array structure you can see array structure is intact as before that so we have visited most of the functions and there are plenty of inbuilt function so this ends with the javascript array thanks for being patient keep practicing